hello students what you can see in the picture can you all see some students jumping yes what are they doing exactly they are enjoying they are playing together isn't it even you must be doing with your friends right yes when you want to play when you want to enjoy when to, when you want to have lot of fun so what do you do you play with your friends you get together you spend time with them you hang out with them all these activities you do it along with your friends what you can see in this picture exactly all the children are studying but how they are studying individual no they are studying together yes when you study together you remember things better when you study alone at times you feel bored but when you sit and share your things your ideas your uh, motives everything you tend to remember things better and you enjoy learning even in uh, in your life with your friends you tend to do these things all together isn't it the more you share the more you spend your time with your friends you have lot of fun isn't it now what is this can you recognize who is there in this picture yes he is a robot can you see the picture of a robot here what is he doing he is standing do you all know children who is a robot and what is his work yes this may be a uh, something new which you will learn this year in your english class this is a robot and he does all the things technologically that means the teacher the manual teacher who teaches you in school everything can be done through a robot that we call it as robotic teacher so uh, today from your english beehive textbook for class 9th the first chapter the fun they had we are just going to have a brief introduction about that topic the earlier two slides i have shown you all regarding children having fun children sitting together sharing talking doing lot of things together where do you do all these things you do it in your school isn't it when you come to school you mingle with your friends you sit together you study you learn you eat together you share your tiffin you have your projects done together so this is called as a school and what is a school it is a building isn't it it's a building where all the children come together under one roof to learn according to their age group and the teacher teaches you all all the different types of subjects isn't it but in this chapter we will be learning about the future schools what are the future schools it is different from the present schooling of yours that is maybe 2157 in the year 2157 you will have all robotic teachers there will be no manual teacher who will be teaching you all it will be a robot with a machine with various buttons on it and you need to press each button for each you know a uh, slot what you need to enter in that according to each buttons the functions will be done on the robots if you want english subject one particular button if you want science one particular button so everything will be done through robotics so there will be a vast difference in the teaching of a manual teacher as well as a robotic teacher which is good you feel do you feel a robotic teacher will be better or do you feel a manual teacher is different of course now you might say robotic teacher is good you don't want manual teacher because you think manual teachers uh, give you punishments and they check the homeworks and this and that but if you really think seriously about it you will 
uh, come to know that manual teachers are much much better than the robotic teachers because robotic teachers don't have any feelings they cannot share they cannot counsel their students whereas the manual teacher approaches to their students they have the love and concern for their children they have that bonding emotional bonding with their children wherein the children also get very close to the teachers and share lot many things and they learn so many things from their teacher but if the robotic teacher that is the machine which is there if it you know uh, if it doesn't work for that particular day what happens the class doesn't run so this is about a robotic teacher here you can see in the picture the upcoming schools that is the future schools may be in such a way there will be a teacher that is a robotic teacher a robot who is standing and who is teaching how will the robotic teacher teach you will be knowing that the information is already fed into the machine you have your laptops you have your computers you have your mobiles and now in this pandemic period you have become so strong that is technically strong to handle all this machinery very well so the same way this robotic teachers also have everything fed in it and accordingly when you press the buttons they are going to have the classes run for all the students but the effectiveness of the class may be not that much expected not up to the mark how a live teacher takes a class for all of you how she creates an atmosphere of a beautiful class when she teaches it might be not there when a robotic teacher teaches so here i'm just stressing or the difference between a robotic teacher that is a future education the future type of schools and now the present schools can you tell me how your grandparents used to go to school did they have such kind of things maybe they did not even have the benches to sit around they used to sit on floor and learn at times they even used to sit on under the uh, trees you know this gurukul system they used to sit under the trees and uh, learn but the most important thing was they used to go to school they used to meet their friends they used to enjoy every moment of their life but when you think about the upcoming schools that is the future schools there would be hardly any enjoyment because every child will be in front of a machine that is a robot and they will be so engrossed in their teaching that they will not have enough time to spend with their friends neither to share anything nothing every home or every child will have a system in front of them teaching them and they will be sitting in front of the system and learning so what is the fun in that no there is no fun absolutely that's what the lesson the fun they had tells you they in the sense your ancestors your grandparents their parents they enjoyed a lot when they used to go to school together they used to play on the playground they used to share their things they used to learn together this was the fun they had what is this this is called an ebook ebook is nothing but your system that is a laptop electronic book it's a system wherein everything is fed into it and you only have to just go on reading because you don't have a hard copy of any type of book it's just inside the system you only have to you know click few buttons and everything is there in that but what is the fun in doing all this now you have n number of books you sit you refer to the books you turn the pages you write you scribble you draw so many things you do it and previously also they used to do that and still we preserved so many books because of these books we get knowledge we gain knowledge we refer to those books for our future references but what if everything is fed into computer if everything is crashed the entire data goes so at times if you say it is uh, important or it is 
prestigious for us to keep all the data into the system or we say it is very safe but at times we can say that if anything goes wrong with the system the entire data gets crashed but manually the books which are written are always good we can refer to them at any period of time you can see this this is a school isn't it you come to school every day and i know now in the pandemic time you hardly visited school you enjoyed holidays at home but the holidays also were too many and you got fed up sitting at home and you were just longing to come to school why because the only reason is you wanted to meet your friends your teachers the school environment is completely different wherein you can enjoy your life once you go to your college you will remember your school days and you say our school days were so wonderful we used to enjoy everything even the scoldings of the teachers and even the punishments given by the teachers so the school life is the best life we can see see this books can you see these are the old type of books you can see some yellowish pages some covers coming out so those are called as crinkly yellow pages because you all must have noticed the books which are very old and the books which now you use recently those are white and fresh but the books when we use and use and use what happens to those pages it starts getting softer and softer and the color also changes it becomes yellowish it becomes total yellow so we need to preserve them so that our upcoming generations can use them see here you can see the old book see the pages how they have become they are old enough they are crinkly isn't it so when we have to preserve the books we need to keep them in a proper condition these are the books which were used in your ancestors time that is the olden times your forefathers your grandparents used to use them but now the upcoming future schools will have e books which i showed you that is everything in one system this is the classroom children a teacher teaching the children now you tell me which looks best the robotic teacher teaching the students or the manual teacher who is teaching the students exactly the manual teacher who is teaching she is so lively in the class she is teaching she is smiling she is making uh, the children you know to be so active and to concentrate on her teaching so the class looks very lively when the teacher teaches manually rather than the robotic teacher so here you can just uh, have a difference between the manual teacher as well as the robotic teacher and this is what the children which are uh, who are very happy after their school hours see you can see a smile on their faces they are so happy returning back home why because they've enjoyed in the school studying together playing together sharing together everything they did it together so now you can just tell me children sitting in front of the system in front of the robot and learning is good or going to school and enjoying their school life is good of course children who are going to school and doing all the activities together is much much better okay so this was a brief introduction about your first chapter that is the fun they had the upcoming classes will be going into depth and i will be taking you all the classes along with the activities and this is the uh, this is a small presentation which i have made for you all just a brief introduction about the first lesson okay thank you